Hey everybody, Jay here. Welcome back to the homestead. Today behind me, I'm going to show you how uh, I keep and maintain all my batteries over the winter time. So stick around. It should be fun. Let's get right into this. All right. Hi guys. Welcome back to the homestead. Um, to give you an idea where we are, we have my workbench over here and then uh, I keep all my batteries over here. So as far as winter storage, um, you want to get your batteries out of the elements. Um, it is cold weather in batteries is literally the worst thing for it so you want to get your batteries out of the elements at least in a shed you know the shed's going to be a touch bit warmer but if you can in a garage preferably but we're in the basement here we have the bulkhead there um so it's pretty well quote unquote vented um so anyways let's uh get right into this so a couple things you need to know about batteries is voltage um Regular car, motorcycle batteries are going to be what's called a 12 volt battery. Um, so what that's going to mean is, is that if you were to take your multimeter here um, and put it on 20 volts, direct current, I'll give you a readout. Let me move you in closer, actually. All right, so here we go. So voltmeters can be um, intimidating. There's a lot of different, you know, stuff on here that's, I guess, a little bit scary. All you literally need for battery voltage is right here is 20 volts v direct current v is alternating current but anyways let's put our voltmeter here um all you need to do is literally you have a positive and a negative put your positive on your positive and hold on there's a little bit of a glare put your positive on your positive and then your negative on your negative you're going to get a reading so this battery is 13 4 because i was just charging it so if we move on down the line here Here's my uh, Yamaha battery for my motorcycle, my 77 there. Um, this is reading 12.75, so it's not too bad. Let's slide on down here to the Sportster battery, which we actually sold, but we still have the battery for some reason. Um, this battery is, oops, sorry, you can't see. So this battery is reading 12.6, so it's a little bit low. But anyways, what I want to talk about is, is voltage here. Um, so what you want to see on a 12 volt battery like i did here this one literally just came off the charger so again it's 13.4 13.41 but a standing fully charged battery is going to be anywhere around 12.9 volts and it's not one of those things where like zero is zero 12 volts even is dead 12 volt battery like if this was reading 12 even and you stuck this in a car, that wouldn't crank it for anything. This sports the battery here, like we just did, was reading, oops, sorry, was reading about um, 12.6. We may get a start out of that, but probably not. But anyways, what you wanna do is, is basically just maintain. So what I got hanging here is just a low amperage, multi-stage battery charger. Obviously, as you can see, same thing. Um, it's got the negative, the positive, much like you would if you were to uh, jump a vehicle. But what I like about this particular charger, and again, this isn't a product endorsement or anything, but if you look here, um, there's buttons. So that's motorcycle mode, car mode, wintertime mode, and then just off. So that gives you a reading of 12.5. So it's a little bit off. The, the voltmeter was reading 12.6. So it's about uh, a little bit off. But anyways, we're going to put that on a uh, car charge. That's just going to give it a little bit more amperage. So um, it's reading 12.9 here. Let's see what um, let's see what it's actually reading here on our voltmeter. Let's put you guys back down here. Um, oh, hang on. Get a good read here. Yeah, so we're reading 12.9. So it's charging. Um, obviously 12.9 is a lot more than 12.6. So what you want, the point of this video is keep all your batteries either in a garage, in a basement, you know, well ventilated. Uh, I have a window here and I have the bulkhead over there. Um, but as far as numbers wise, you want to keep your batteries right around 12.9. Um, that is a fully charged battery. Um, so all I do is I'll come down here, I'll hook up, let's say the sports battery. I'll put this trickle charge on for a few hours. Uh, it's a low amperage charge. It's a 12 volt low amperage charge. And then I'll just check them uh, all with the voltmeter here. Again, you don't need anything fancy. You can get this at Walmart, get this at Home Depot, Lowe's, wherever. Just a simple, basic voltmeter to tell you what's going on. Also to pay attention to your uh, fluid in your battery. This one is a gel battery. I mean, not a gel battery. This isn't a gel battery. So it's got acid here. You want to keep the acid between these um, 
between the lines here. And if you need to fill it, obviously wear gloves. Battery acid is some nasty stuff, but pull the caps off or twist the caps off. Make sure you wear gloves. Get a little, you can get containers of battery acid, I believe at like AutoZone, maybe Walmart. But these two batteries you can top off with fluid. And then obviously this is a sealed car battery. So that's really pretty much it as far as maintaining your batteries. Um, don't leave them in the cold. Um, it's the worst thing you can do. Even if you leave them out in the cold with a trickle charge on them, that is still the worst thing you can do. Get it at least in somewhat of a reasonable um, climate, reasonable temperature, a shed or a bulkhead, or obviously a garage would be the perfect uh, situation, but you don't want to uh, leave them exposed to the cold weather get a low amperage charger you do not need a 120 amp charger you know something wild like that you just need something low to maintain uh obviously I got my drill batteries here but that's its own thing in separately but maintain your batteries they'll last a long time so i just wanted to make this quick little video just to show you how to uh do that what numbers are actually good to read what you should shoot for and just kind of like a basic charger you can get uh almost anywhere so anyways, I really hope you guys have uh, enjoyed this video. I just wanted to make a quick little video. I'm kind of overhauling my little workspace here. We've had some weird weather the last few days. So anyways, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if this video was helpful. Again, just to recap, 12.9 in that general ballpark uh, is what you want for a standing voltage on a battery. Uh, anything under 12.8, 12 12.7, 12 that's low. Uh, you want to keep those voltages up. Batteries have a super hard time of recovering if you let them especially new batteries if you buy a new battery and let it go completely stone dead and charge it back up you're gonna have some problems with it so anyways i hope you guys uh appreciate this video uh let me know what you guys think thank you for watching and uh, i'll see you in the next one